peace and good. My name is Sister Katerina. I am from Homa, Louisiana, and I've been with this community for about four years now. Now, the gospel today is speaking about listening to the word of God and putting it into practice. So the first phrase of the gospel today says, Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but those who do the will of my heavenly Father. And then Jesus continues with the parable. He compares the wise man who built on rock with the, the foolish man that built on sand. The wise man was the one who listened to the word and put it into practice. And his house was built on rock that whenever the wind and the floods came, uh, the house was able to stand. And it did not crumble. Contrasting with the foolish man who built on sand, the house crumbled when the floods and the rains came. <clears throat> now, if we want the stability in our lives, like the wise man, we need to, to listen to the word of God and put it into practice. Now, it says, not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but the one who does the will of my heavenly Father. In our community, we like to connect this passage with what Jesus specifically says to do. That is, do this in memory of me. Eat my body, drink my blood. Here in the Catholic Church, we have physically the presence of God in the Eucharist, even here in the tabernacle behind me. And so when we receive Jesus, in our lives, in the Eucharist, we're building that foundation. We're putting ourselves on the rock of the church, on the rock of God himself. And that way, even if the world can seem to be crumbling around us, we will stand firm. But it's not just that. To all the more be able to have greater reverence for the Eucharist, to be able to recognize him all the more in our lives, we also have to actually, you know, swallow, that is, love Jesus in our lives, actually do what he's asking us to do. In the first letter of St. John, it says that loving God means keeping his commandments. So we can say, I love you, Jesus, on our lips and, you know, even preach that to others. And that is a beautiful thing. That is wonderful. But it's, there's also things that we could be doing better probably in our own lives. I can speak for myself first. Even, you know, having more reverence for the Eucharist, maybe here in, in Advent, Maybe the Lord is calling us to maybe come pray in church more often, maybe before the Blessed Sacrament, maybe to come to daily Mass, and to maybe think about instances in our lives when we could be living out the commandments of Christ better, you know, in our relationships with others, even in our own thoughts with ourselves. How can I be living the Eucharist better in my life? So let us pray about this this Advent and renew our relationship with the Lord in the sacrament. Amen.